Good morning and welcome to Revelate. Revelate is a TV broadcast that I am going to be starting on YouTube in order to help people understand more of what God is saying and doing in this day and age. I believe that God is speaking clearly to his people right now and he is wanting us to revelate. What do I mean by revelate? Revelate is that I believe God is wanting to release revelation out of his word that maybe you haven't heard before or maybe you've heard and wondered where did that come from I want to confirm some things that you have been hearing I want to add to some things that God's been saying to you I want to join you in the process of understanding the kingdom of God on earth how it is advancing and what God is doing so I'm starting this new program called revelate how often we'll be on here will be determined based on the revelation that God gives us to share with one another. If God gives you a revelation and you're able to email me your video, then we can add it to this channel and we can create a, a tapestry of the voice of God speaking to various people around the city, around the country, and around the world. Our God is a God that speaks. John chapter, John chapter 10 says, My sheep hear my voice. The voice of a stranger they do not listen to. For many years, the church has been so concerned about being relevant. We've been, we've been so interested in being relevant so that people will come to our churches, so people will be interested in the gospel of Jesus Christ, so, so that people will want to be a part of that which we have discovered is so amazing in our lives. But unfortunately, we have learned that being relevant is not actually what they were interested in. Having lights, camera, action in our services, having um, skits and plays and productions, thinking that would draw in unbelievers. Yeah, it drew in unbelievers, and yeah, they said a sinner's prayer, but the reality is people know there's something more. There's something crying out in the heart of this generation that's on the earth right now that says, there must be more than this. They're looking for something authentic. They're looking for something real they're looking for somebody to revelate I want to let you know that I got that word revelate from a man named Dr. Larry Lee Dr. Larry Lee wrote a book that I read many many years ago in the early 90s called can you not tarry one hour it's a book on prayer that Dr. Lee wrote and since that day back in the early 90s when I read that book I have been blessed to be able to meet Dr. Lee just last year I was at a conference in Tulsa Oklahoma in May and Dr. Lee was speaking at that conference and then again at another conference just recently here in Lenexa, Kansas, in the month of November 2014, I was able to sit with him and listen to him again as he shared from the Word of God. Dr. Larry Lee is called the Apostle of Prayer over the International House of Prayer here in Kansas City, Missouri. And I want you to know what Dr. Larry Lee said. He said that God is going to set you down in order to set you up. Many people may not understand what that really means, but God, for many people, God has had them in a wilderness. The Lord has had you in a time where you have felt like you're not fulfilling your destiny. You're not fulfilling your calling. You have felt like you're on the bench watching the team play, but you're unable to be there. And the Lord has set you down and you know it. I know I've been set down for the past 14 years. Yeah, 14 years. But you know what? Paul was set down for 14 years as well. Moses was actually set down for 80 years. And so actually God does do set downs, but he does them for the sake of a set up. And many people in the body of Christ have been set down. And many of them are starting to come out of their wilderness. They're starting to come out of their, their fiery trials. They're starting to come out of the discipline of the Lord. They're starting to come out and their voices you have not heard, their names you do not know. But the reality is that they've been spoken to in the desert. They have been fed by the ravens by the brook. They have eaten the daily manna. They have communed with the Lord in the secret place where nobody knew they were. And God is about to manifest his sons and daughters that have been in the wilderness. And maybe that's you. And I want you to know that what Dr. Larry Lee said, he said that God sets us down to set us up. And when he sets you down, he sets you down so that you can learn how to revelate. A revelation is the ability to discern something in the Word of God, to hear something from the voice of God in the Word of God that has not been spoken, that is not common knowledge in the Christian church, that is not one of those things that we've always heard. 
You see, God is beginning to revelate through his sons and daughters of God that have matured in the wilderness. He's beginning to revelate through people. Jesus was a revelator. He used everyday situations like fig trees and shepherds and gates and doors. And, and he used those things in order to revelate the truth about the word of God and to share with us what the kingdom of God was really about. He talked about the kingdom of God is like a pearl. And when you find it, you go and sell everything so that you can obtain that pearl and he would say it that plainly and that clearly and it seemed hard to understand to many people because the Bible said that they had eyes but they could not see and ears but they could not hear otherwise they would turn and understand and be able to revelate that which God was saying we're leaving the season of revelation I'm sorry, we're leaving the season of being relevant and entering the season of revelation. God is releasing revelation to the body of Christ. He is releasing the revelation about the kingdom of God. It is a fabulous time to be alive. And I encourage you to continue to allow the Lord to let to set you down because he's actually trying to set you up so that you can become a revelator. So what we're going to do on this channel going forward is that I'm going to share with you what God is teaching me. He has taught me how to revelate. And every day he speaks through his word revelations that are blowing my mind. There are, some of them are brand new. They're, having to, they're, they're causing me to change the way I think. But isn't that what the word repent really means? Repent is not about doing a different behavior. Repent is about changing the way you think. Because when you change the way you think, then your behavior will automatically change. So I want you to know that I'm anticipating great things as God's going to hopefully confirm to you some things you've been hearing, share with you some things you've never heard before and cause you to dig into the word of God to learn and see and understand what God is going to do. So if you'll join me in this journey, we are going to begin the process of revelation. And the Bible says that, that Jesus spoke as one that had had authority and the people were amazed because he was not like the scribes and the Pharisees of his day. Jesus didn't come to do anything other than preach the kingdom of God. We are entering the kingdom age and the kingdom age begins with revelation. Keep tuned. We're going to begin to share more and more as the days go by. Thank you for joining us, and I look forward to sharing with you more, hopefully as early as tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.